fine. My uh, little research thing was on, oh shoot, <laughs> I'm having a brain fart. It was on uh, expectations. There we go. All right, so the expectations of uh, a teacher to the student. And this is debated not only among teachers, but the more dangerous argument is among uh, the students, uh, from the students to the teachers. Um, in this study right here, uh, this group of cats here, they did a study on students who graded other students based on how they thought it would be fair. And they gave uh, grades to people that didn't deserve a passing grade, so they gave them like a C or a D when they didn't even, like they just put their name on it and turned it in and said, here you go. And they asked, why did you do that? And they said, well, at least they turned in a paper, you know, at least they put effort in, and so they deserve grade for that. And uh, they gave A's for people who were just average. It was not fair, bottom line. The problem with this is that it's impossible to assess effort, and it's not fair to assume that some students are putting in more of an effort than others when you can't follow them home. And this leads to this uh, debate between students and teachers leads to poor assessment, um, teacher, inaccurate teacher assessments, because they feel teachers are not fair. Uh, the hodgepodge grading method uh, is uh, 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 conventional grading that is used in high schools today a lot. It's grading on um, other things that are non-academic. Like in college, it's a lot of tests and homework that you're graded on. But in high school, especially uh, music teachers, they grade a lot on attendance, uh, growth, your conduct in class, at least in my high school I went to. And they, the cross and fray here, uh, they did a study in the 90s where it was uh, teachers would use the non-academic stuff on their syllabus to kind of get back at their students that they didn't like or that they did like. They would kind of like reward and it wasn't very fair and they would also, you know, grade homework and stuff, but uh, so they said that that should be just outlawed and we should have just regular academic stuff and we shouldn't expect students to adjust to different types of grading. But then a follow-up study was done by these guys and they said that uh, teachers should expect students to adapt and they don't have to change or be dictated in how they teach and they should expect students to adapt uh, from classroom to classroom, just like worksite to worksite has different expectations. And they just, but teachers have to make sure that they tell students how they grade. And then there was a stress level. Uh, there was a study done of students that were enrolled in AP classes and uh, accelerated learning, and they were more stressed academically, but more happy in the long run, and the students who did regular coursework were less stressed, but they were also less happy. Um, if that makes any sense. But it, this was not a study that said that regular students were less uh, desirable than accelerated learning. It was more of just a study of stress. So it doesn't mean that if you didn't take an AP class, you're a bad student. Uh, so we can expect students to be a little stressed. There's no problem in that. And then they did a case study of, uh, of a very young high school in Norman, Oklahoma. Uh, the conductor's name is Tony Gonzalez. And his uh, choir is so well run, even in a young school like this, and they, they're, their school is smaller than the high school I went to, and their choir is way better. And they win like everything. Uh, they won a lot of stuff. Uh, ever since the, they started, since 1997, they've been winning this, these competitions. I can't go to the website here, um, but they, they sound pretty good. I looked them up on YouTube, and they carry themselves you know, like really professionally. And so they're like, what, what's the deal? How, how does he get this out of a regular, you know, regular bunch of students? And it was everything every other music teacher pretty much expects. Uh, the big one here that I'm going to hit on is the conductor. Uh, what he did to get this out of the students and what he expected was just respect, um, love of music, and punctuality. And the bottom line was, uh, Teachers got to practice what they preach. They can expect students to reciprocate what they put forth. So you give the respect you get, or you get the respect you give, something like that. And they uh, they found that that's really effective. It talked nothing about grading. I tried finding the word grade on that, but it didn't show up. And uh, 
it, it was just talking about how he expected his students to reciprocate what he did. So the bottom line is you can expect students to be stressed, you can expect students to you know, show up for class, you can expect students to adapt to your grading just as long as you uh, live that out. And that is it. I hope I'm